Hello everybody, my name is George. In this tutorial, I will show you how to deform objects using particle, particles. Okay, so I will draw a simple sphere here. You can use any object you want. Oh, let's make it nice. Place to pivot. Okay. The first thing I want to do uh, to put one particle for each vertex on the sphere. So I will use particle editor, empty flow, vert operator. Okay, I need to see all, all my particles in the viewport, so 100. All my particles I want to be emitted at the first frame, zero, so zero. Let's put seven here. I see I have uh, 182 vertex, so I need 182 particle. Position object. Okay, select the sphere. The location by vertices. Let's change the color. Now to make sure that uh, each vertex has only one particle, so I will use separation here. So now you see I have nice scene. It's a very wonderful scene. Okay, let's use the Add a simple animation, so I will use wind. Maybe turbulence to. I don't want strings. I want a little turbulence here. So let's add the force operator and add the wind. So let's play. It's very fast. Maybe three hundred. Very fast. Five. Okay, it's wonderful. Finally, and I need shape operator. Cube, it's nice. Let's put geometry, it's very large. So, one. Okay. Now I finish my particle animation. Now I need each vertex to follow the particle. Okay. So, I will use Skin Wrap Modifier. By Skin Wrap Modifier, I can deform object by another object. So, add. Oh, here's the problem. You see, I can't select my particle system. So, I can't add particle system in the Skin Wrap. So, what I need to do here, I need to convert my particle system to mesh object. <coughs> okay. To do that, I will use in the compound object I have mesher. So I will use mesher. Pick object none. I will pick my particle source. Now you see. I still have my animation, but I can deal with this as a mesh object. So let's add a bend for example. You see, I can deal with it with it as a mesh object so re let's realign this back to my skin wrap modifier add okay I still I can't add this mesh objects why really I don't know why but uh, I find solution for this so let's select the mesh object If I convert this to editable poly, you see I will lose my animation. So before I do that, I will use point cache. Point cache so I can record my animation. That's my test. Okay, save. And here I can record my animation. Okay, it's done. Now let's delete that and convert this to editable poly. Now you see I don't have animation, but when I put the point cache and load my saved animation, you see I have the animation. Okay, let's realign this, hide my particle system. Okay, now I can add it in the skin wrap. Okay, pick. 
So let's put a play and you see my particles deforming my sphere. It's a wonderful. Mm, but but the problem here as you expect for example if I need to change my force let's put it 23 for example 23 you see my particle is changing but with no effect on the object because I baked the animation by point cache so I can't interactively change my effect so soon I will post another tutorial I will show you how to use Perth script to make a copy of objects like boxes for example and make it follow each particle on the sphere so then I can use skin wrap modifier and add these boxes and the same technique Okay, I hope you find this tutorial good. Uh, okay, goodbye and see you soon.